Markup and Mail Drop are new features added to Mail in OS X Yosemite. With Markup, when I attach things like image files or PDFs to a message, I can click this down arrow that appears when I hover over the file in the message body. Choose Markup, and I can now add things like shapes, text, or a saved signature. Click the Sketch tool here, and I can draw a freehand shape. In the pop-up that appears to the left, I can then choose to turn it into a smooth curve or a shape. So if I wanted to draw a circle around the tent here, I can make a rough circle at first, and then select the refine circle here. I can control the line thickness for the shape from this menu, control the line color here, and the fill color, if any, from this menu. From here I can select a few different shapes. The two bottom options here can help highlight certain parts of the attachment. With this, I can create a highlight around the tent. Select the Loop tool to magnify part of the image. Use the blue handle on the circle to adjust the size, and the green one to adjust the magnification level. Click here to add text. I can then reformat the text here. Click the Signatures button to add a saved signature. This can be great for signing PDF documents. I have a saved signature here already, but I could also create one here using either my trackpad or by holding a signed piece of paper right up to my EyeSight camera. We'll talk more about creating these signatures and annotating or marking up PDFs coming up in the Lessons on Preview. Click Done, and this is how the recipient will see the attachment. But the original file that I attached is not affected. Next, we need to talk about Mail Drop. Ever since email first appeared, it's been hard to send really large attachments with your messages. On my Gmail account, there's a limit of 36 megabytes for an attachment. So if I wanted to send this video to someone, which is about 100 megabytes, I need to upload it to a file sharing service first, and then email or message my recipient a link to the video. But with MailDrop, which is built into Mac Mail, I can still send this attachment. Click Send and Mail will ask if I want to use MailDrop, which will upload this image to iCloud for 30 days. When the recipient gets the email, it will show up right in the message like a normal attachment if they're using an iCloud email address. If they're using another address, it will appear as a download link, but I don't have to do anything more. Next up, we'll look at how to manage junk mail.